today's video, I'm gonna show you how I set up this, a script for OBS that basically follows the cursor from monitor to monitor. So if you're recording tutorials or just want your viewers to be able to follow you from monitor to monitor, well, you now have an easy way to do so. This is a script, not a plugin. I do plan on making it a plugin at some point in time. I just don't have those skills yet and I'm currently working on it. So uh, stay tuned for that. Two, I did set up an auto installer. It is not perfect. Sometimes you have to run it two or three times to make it work properly at the point of recording this video. Mainly I'm recording this video because if I don't, I'm never going to get this video out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. Um, and then you guys can also give me feedback of what things are or not working with the installer. So um, yeah, that's it. Let's roll the intro and um, I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up. Before we dive into today's content, let's go ahead and pause for a moment to consider the value of making smart decisions. Speaking of which, we're thrilled to once again partner with Mint Mobile, the pioneers in transforming the wireless industry. They're dedicated to providing premium wireless service without that hefty price tag we've all come to dread. Ever find yourself puzzled by the sky-high cost of your wireless bill? Well, if so, Mint Mobile is on a mission to demonstrate that there's a smarter way to do things. For a limited time, new customers can enjoy any three-month plan for just $15 a month. That's correct. You were hearing that correctly. 50% off their unlimited plan. Imagine accessing the nation's largest 5G network, enjoying unlimited talk and text, and all the benefits of a high-tier wireless experience at half the cost. The transition to Mint Mobile is a breeze thanks to their eSIM technology. Many of you can seamlessly switch over from the comfort of your home in as little as 15 minutes. And for those of you that prefer a physical SIM card, Mint Mobile's got you covered there with a free SIM sent directly to your doorstep. Let go of the old, overpriced, and convoluted ways of wireless. Head over to trymintmobile.com forward slash how to tech to snag this incredible offer and get premium wireless for just $15 a month. My wife and I jumped on the Mint Mobile bandwagon over a year ago, and we've been fans ever since. Who can resist the allure of significant savings? What's going on guys? Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we are taking a look at my own kind of script and code and things that I've worked on, which is super weird to me because this is, this is new territory. So let's go ahead and go over to my desktop with my camera. And this is uncharted territory for us. We're looking at a GitHub page. And unfortunately uh, for you, um, this is my GitHub page and I don't know what I'm doing. I've been working on this a little bit um, and th there'll be quite a few changes that'll be made to this page over time. But GitHub is basically a repository um, where you can go and download people's code. Um, you can iterate on their code, edit it. Uh, I don't personally know a lot about GitHub. I've downloaded things from GitHub for many years. I just don't understand exactly how all of it works. Uh, give some information and help in the comment section down below for those of you that might be just as confused as I am. But if you guys have any feedback, once again, let me know. There will be two ways to download this. One will be on Ko-Fi and or Coffee, and then the other one will be here, and I'll be updating those over time. And there is a way to just basically click this link and it goes ahead and it downloads the uh, cursor tracker setup, and then you're good to go. So here is the program itself or the installer, and we're gonna go ahead and double click on that to run the installer. You will get what's called a user account control pop-up or a UAC prompt. Just click yes on it. That's why my screen was black there. It's one of those screens that pops up and basically says, hey, are you sure you wanna run this? If you get one of those blue screens, uh, little blue boxes that basically says it's unlicensed or unsigned software, well, it's because it is, because I'm definitely not a software developer and it's just something I've been working on. So uh, go ahead and say it's okay to run. And um, I, I would appreciate that because I'm not doing anything weird or sketchy. Um, that's also another reason why this is all on GitHub. Go in there, take a look at the code, understand what's going on. And if I'm doing anything that you think is wrong, let me know and I will update it. Or if you think there's a better way to do something, let me know and I'll also try to go ahead and update that. So basically the way this works is this is an installer and you accept the agreement. And then this tells you basically what it's doing. The script will be installed on OBS Studio front end scripts folder and Python 3.9 will be downloaded and installed. And then the required uh, Python libraries will be installed. 
And basically what the Python libraries are in Python is, is Python is a way to do other things inside of OBS because OBS has the ability to use Python and we can run scripts and scripts sometimes need libraries to determine or understand what's going on on the machine. And the library that we're going to be installing is basically going to allow us to understand which monitor we're on. So as you can see kind of in the background there, um, how it's following each monitor, basically the script is constantly figuring out which monitor we're on and switching to it based off of that. So we'll click install. It's gonna go ahead and download Python if you haven't already had it installed. This is where I will say if you do have Python 3.9 installed, sometimes this um, will give you an error message. I'm still working on that stuff. So if you've already got Python installed, know a little bit about Python. Uh, basically you should just be able to select your folder in OBS for Python and then go ahead, select the script in the scripts folder. We'll get to that in just a second. So as you can see in the background here, I've already got OBS Studio open. I've actually got it open three, uh, twice. I've got it open for over here on this monitor where I'm recording, as you might be able to see inside of the Inception preview that's there. And then I've got one here on my main monitor. And I'm only gonna check the view setup instructions because I've already got OBS Studio open. But if you don't, this button should open it up as long as you've got it uh, set up in the default path for OBS. Then we should get this little pop-up and it says to use the OBS multi-monitor cursor tracker. Open OBS Studio, then we're gonna to go to tools, we're gonna to go to scripts, we're gonna click the Python settings tab, and then we're gonna click browse. And by default, right, um, if you do have Python or don't have Python installed and it installs Python 3.9, um, it should create a folder called Python 39 in the program files folder. And you can click that. Mine's actually set to 3.12 or 31.2. I, I don't, I have no idea, honestly. It's automatically set to this and it works, but it should work with that. Just select whatever folder of Python that you currently have installed. Click select folder. I'm gonna keep mine on the one I've currently got it installed on. And then we're done with that. Let's click on the scripts tab and then click this plus button. And then we're gonna go to cursor tracker. It should be the first uh, one of the only two folders that you see whenever this opens. By default, this should go to this OBS Studio Data, OBS Plugins, Front End Tools, Scripts folder. And then um, we should just be able to click OBS Tracker and then select OBS Cursor Tracker and click Open. And then we should be good. It should show up here. And then there's two or three things that we need to know um, how to do after this. And um, that's kind of where these, this description, these instructions are useful for. So let's go ahead and click OK, because we're done with that. We have our script loaded. And I want to show you a few different things. Um, one or two error messages uh, might pop up in some certain areas and might cause your script to not be working for you. And the best way to find out if your script is working is click um, script log. And we can see that this script log is basically running this OBS cursor tracker.py, which is our Python script. And it's basically tracking what location our mouse cursor is at. So if I leave that still, we can see that those numbers don't change and the current display is display one. Let me show you how to go about setting this up inside of OBS because it's very easy. So essentially what I did was I created a scene called Auto Tracker and Auto Tracker has my three displays set up in them and they're always set to be viewed and turned on. And then um, if you don't want this for certain displays, don't put that on there. Like currently I've got display uh, three, I've got my display one, and then my display two. If I didn't want display three, I would just turn display three off or I would just not include it here. So if you had one that you use for monitoring chat, having messages with friends, and you don't want that showing up in your tutorial or on stream, well, you can create a safe monitor to not show that information. So. What we're going to do is we're going to, once again, create that scene and we're gonna start adding displays in. The way displays are added in are very important. The naming convention needs to be display with a space and then the number. And I, I believe it needs a capital D for display. I, I don't know, I haven't messed with that too much. Um, these are all things that if you notice that they are an issue, let me know and I will update them. Once again, still working on all that. But you might be wondering, um, where does it get the information of what display is what display? And um, you can actually right click on your desktop and Windows. Um, if you're on Windows 11, you gotta click show more options. Um, but it, you have display settings here and we're gonna open up display. And basically it's really easy. So um, display one is here, display two is here, display three is here. So 
based off how you have windows laid out, um, the number is relevant to the number that shows up in the system display settings inside of windows. So pretty easy to do. And then we go ahead and we set all of those up. Now, some of the error messages that you might see here, um, the main one is basically gonna be that a um, component's not installed for Python, which would be, um, I think it's like sys info or win32 info. Basically, this is the, it's the library that the Python script uses to determine what monitor we're on. And if that's not set up correctly, um, that can be ran. I will actually include a, um, little command down in the description of this video or on screen as well that you guys can run. If you do have Python installed, that will go ahead and install it. But one of the other things that you can do to make sure that it gets installed if it doesn't work right away is to literally just run this installer again. If it already determines that Python's installed, it will go ahead and install the um, Win32 or Sys32 library so you can actually run this script properly. One of those things that's a little issue that I am going to fix, I just don't know if it'll be fixed by the time this video's out. So uh, essentially if you're running into problems, run this one or two times and you should be good. And then um, after you've added all your displays in here, um, you might need to click refresh display sources to pick up what monitors which. That way, whenever you go back into letting it auto switch, it will work properly. And also every single time you go to open OBS, um, even though the script's already there, you still have to go into tools, scripts, and refresh display sources at the beginning of launching OBS for the script to work. Still something I am working on. I've been putting a lot of time into this. And like I said, if you're really interested on the development of this and uh, maybe want to help out or have some information and feedback of what is working, what is not working, if you do any kind of development, um, what I could do to help make this better, let me know in the comment section down below and also on my Discord, I'll have a link for that as well. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.